Good morning, Grade 3. Welcome back to Grade 3 Mathematics class. How are you all doing today? Today, let's learn how we can multiply money. See, let's do one question now. Multiply 13 rupees 50 paise by 3. So, while doing multiplication of money, you have to start multiplying the paise first. Then, you proceed with the multiplication of the rupee part. So, let's see how we can do that. Let's see the steps. So, first, we have written the given amount in proper columns. So, you have 13 in the rupee column and 50 in the paise column. That is 13 rupee 50 paise multiplied by 3. So, we start multiplying the paise part first. So, we have written 3 in the paise column. So, in the paise column, we have 3 into 0, which is equal to 0 and 3 into 5 is equal to 50. We write the 5 here and carry over 1 to the next column. Why? Because here it becomes a total of 150 paise and we wrote that 50 paise in the paise column and carried over the 100 paise from this to the rupee column. So, 100 paise when carried over to the rupee column it becomes 1 rupee. So, here now we have to multiply the rupee part. So, here it is 3 into 3, 9 plus 1, it is equal to 10, 0 here, 1 carried over to the next place. So, 3 into 1, 3 plus 1, 4. So, what is the product? The product is 40 rupee 50 paise. So, the amount 13 rupee 50 paise multiplied by 3 will give you a total amount of 40 rupee 50 paise. Just keep in mind that when you carry over the 100 paise from the paise column to the rupee column, it becomes 1 rupee there, the equivalent of 100 paise. So, hope this is clear to you. Now, we will do one more question. Multiply 52 rupee 47 paise by 6. So, like before, let's first write the given amount in proper columns. First, we will multiply the paise, then we will multiply the rupee. So, in the paise column, we have 6 into 7, which is equal to 42. Let's write 2 here, carry over 4 to the next place. Now, 6 into 4 is equal to 24 plus 4, 28. So, let's write 8 here and carry over 2 to the next column. So, in the rupee column, now we have 6 into 2, 12 plus this 2, 14. So, let's write 4 here, carry over 1 to the next place. Now we have 6 into 5, 30 plus 1, 31. So, what is the total amount? It is equal to 314 rupee 82 paise. So, the amount 52 rupee 47 paise when multiplied by 6 will give you the total amount rupees 314 and 82 paise. I hope these two questions are clear to you. Now, we will do an activity. All of you please turn to exercise 11.4 which is in page number 157 of your textbook. The first question is to multiply an A and question A of question number 1. So, 1A. You have the question 16 rupee 23 paise. It has to be multiplied by 3. We can do this as an activity now. You can work out the question in the textbook itself. So, you please pause this video, finish the exercise and come back. Hope you are done with that. Now, let's see how we can do the multiplication. So, starting the multiplication in the paise column. Here we have 3 into 3, 9. So, let's write 9 here. Now, 3 into 2 is equal to 6. So, here in the paise column we have 69 paise. Now, moving to the rupee column. We have 3 into 6 which is equal to 18. So, let's write 8 here, carry over 1 to the next place. Now, we have 3 into 1, which is equal to 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So, in the rupee column, we have 48 rupee and the paise column, we have 69 paise. So, the amount 16 rupee 23 paise when multiplied by 3 gives you the total amount 48 rupee 69 paise. I hope you have got this answer correctly. Now children, you have to go through this topic, multiplication of money in page number 155 of your textbook. 
Then at the end of the page, you can see a heading enrich yourself, which is a knot. Make sure you go through that knot as well. Then you have to move on to exercise 11.4 and you have to complete the questions 1B to 1F from the first question. 1A we have already done in class. So children, hope the concept we learned today is clear to you. That's all for today. We'll see you in the next class with a new topic. Till then, 